Welcome back. Today we have a bit of an unboxing, uh, which was prompted by me getting this deck and then that deck. And then maybe you can already guess what is happening in this third package. I'm gonna put this away for just a moment. And this whole story started a few weeks ago when I was in um, Black Moon Botanica on Candlemaker Row in Edinburgh. And I saw this magnificent box that I hadn't seen. I hadn't seen any reviews for it or anything like that. And the the lady who has the shop, very she had a few cards out, and then she said to me, "Oh, why don't you have a look at the whole deck?" She had a, a whole deck that you could actually have a look at, which is amazing. So I had a look at it, and then I was like, "Oh, I don't know, I don't know." And then I thought, "Oh, okay, hang on, this is dealing with." Um, death and dealing with past lives and it's got all that mojo going on and it's called the Cosma Visions Oracle. So it is not called a tarot, it is called an oracle and it's, it is by James Eads and he released it in 2021 so you might have seen it before. I had not. Um, the organization is slightly different to a tarot, but could be a tarot. Um, just the way that James describes it is quite interesting because he's describing it as uh, five suits plus majors, okay? And your majors actually start with the death card, if you can see that. There we go, I'm trying to get the glare off. Although these are matte cards, they're not shiny cards, they're matte. So it starts with the death and then it goes from there. So I will do a full comprehensive flip through with the full panoramics uh, later of this one. The There was a little thing that prompted me to get his other decks when I was reading through the little booklet, um, James Ease was saying that this Oracle deck can work very, very well with the Prisma Visions Tarot, which is his interpretation of Tarot. And I have been looking at getting his Prisma Visions for quite a while. So I thought, well, maybe this is the push that I need because you're supposed you can use the two decks jointly to give you a more um, a fuller picture shall we say of influences from maybe past lives the undercurrents and then what is going on right now so not to spoil the surprise or anything anyway after getting the Cosma visions i thought i was traveling around and I thought, oh, why not get one of the tiny little ones, but I'll get the light vision. And so I got a little light vision that I have familiarized myself with. And again, I will give you the lowdown on this, but um, this has already been unpacked. I mean, you can just see the card quality is the same for all the cards. It's absolutely excellent. You can see that the edges is different for every single deck. These are rather small. They're perfect for uh, traveling, but I do find them rather small, even though I adore this sort of monochrome thing that they have going on. And so when Black Moon Botanica's shop open, reopened on the 20th of November, I decided to order the Prisma Vision in the full size. So it got here just today and I'm delighted that I can finally share it with you. <laughs> so it came wrapped, it just came in a uh, bubble envelope, I think, is all it was. So, okay, so I've just worked my magic on one of the corners there. Um, so it is shrink wrapped, or wrapped anyway. And you can feel the quality is exactly the same as the other decks. And I'm hoping you can get the shininess. Yes, I think you can. 
and the box arrived in really good condition sometimes it's a little bit hit or miss on the corners there um, when they arrive with me maybe we've got some British postman up here but <laughs> and there we go so we open the box of the Prisma visions and inside we have the full belly you see is someone who is not wading through waters for something unsought Mm. The magician plays tricks in the dark of the night, refracting the light of all future sight. A set of cards to tease your mind, revealing a past, present, future combined. And that's signed James R. Eads. Okay, so this is the Prisma Vision, and I don't know which edition this is. 79 cards. 2020 so that yeah that's the sixth edition actually so this should have it should have the tiny elephants but don't quote me on that yes it does that's the mystery card so all of his decks sorry all of his full-size decks have a sort of extra card okay a sort of mystery card and this one has the tiny elephants Okay, so let's delve in. Let's go and have a look at this. And I love that monochrominess almost. Although I do understand that it's a very colorful deck. So let's take this off. And already you can see this is like a silver edge. Hopefully you can see that. Yes, I think it's clear enough. I'm just gonna go through majors love the high priestess so these are very much a Rader Waite Smith clone numbering and naming of the cards and you can see that all the majors have a border This might be a little bit longer than I had anticipated. And the tower. Just want you to have a little look. Um, I mean, you can slow this down if you want. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, indeed, the sun. Judgment. Now, I don't know if this will come through on, on the video, but there is like a, a three-dimensional element to the these they really feel like they're coming at you tiny elephants and then we go into the suits so for the suits I'm going to show them and then I'm going to do a panoramic of them one at a time so this is the chalices which are Sometimes it's referred to as cups. I like those cups. I love the colors. Mm. These are going to be so, so easy to read with. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And then the quartz. The page tonight. Queen, and you can already see that they, they feed into each other, okay? So let me try to do this. I don't think I'll be able to line them all up. Let's see if I can do two. So you can see that they line up. So you can see how when you're learning tarot, for example, this could be very handy because it helps you make suit uh, make sense 
of the full suit as a unit. It helps you to see the evolution of the suit, which I'm so keen on. So here you can see that there's not just the water to be red, but there's a sky to be red, and there's people to be red, and cups, uh, or the old description. So take a minute, take a moment to just have a look at this full suit of chalices. And I just love how he just weaves the landscape and yeah, this is magic. This is like tarot coming alive. And your tarot is just like whoosh coming out at you. <laughs> and as you can see, I mean, you could lay them all down in one long, long thing, okay? I've just had to do them in two rows. Um, so my apologies for that, but it would take quite a long table. Maybe I'll do a panoramic at some other time. So the Cosmovision works a little bit different, um, but we'll get into that later. So the pentacles, so quickly in close up. This is kind of like Umpty Dumpty. I really have a Umpty Dumpty vibe with this guy. Mm. And again, the colors speaking volumes. And this one in the black and white in the monochrome deck is very depressing. Whereas here there's an, an edge of hope, you know, there's a little bit of hope to be had. Oh gosh, I love these. So you can see the pentacles really have like their own color scheme. So I'm really liking that he's got different color schemes for the different suits. Which certainly feels that way so far. So let's have a look if we do the same again. So you can see the whole progression and you can see what's going on up here as well. If it's nourishing or if it's all going pear shaped. And at the bottom here, full evolution all the way to the King of Pentacles. And you can probably see this is very, very yellow. Let me turn down my lights so that you can see just how yellow this suit is. Okay, this is it with no light in the room, only natural light and it's superbly yellow with some red, very earthy, very nature. It does have that sunlight also. Mm, I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? In some ways it's a looks to be a very traditional deck, which I think is why I've hesitated to get it for so long. But, oh uh, well. It's also not so traditional. Okay, so this is amazing. I love this ace. Ace of swords. Two of swords. So just quickly going through and then I'll give you the panoramic. So maybe gonna boost just cause this, these ones are a little bit darker can see that the trees are really telling a story here. So are the giant birds. And they kind of scare me a little bit. What do you think of the giant birds? Do you like them? Are you scared of them? They freak you out? Hmm. Well, the Queen of Swords sure caught one and tamed it. All right, so here we go. You're gonna see very, very different theme and schematics here. I do love that he's got the rainbow kind of wind 
and clouds to kind of give you the idea of ideas just going round and round, whistling around. Hope that makes sense. So here we go at the bottom there with those giant birds. Okay, so feast on that for a second. I do think maybe we need to see the seven and the eight together because there's that thief. And then we have this person here. It's quite down behind their swords. I mean, easy to read in a way. And in another way, you're like, well, hang on. There's like quite a lot to read here. Maybe it's not that simple. Quite like the, the three, even though it doesn't leave much to the imagination of interpretation. What do you think? Do you like the six? I really dig the six with the butterflies and the sword bridge. But of course, those butterflies don't need that sword bridge. They can just go away. We're just going to go over. But still, their past experiences are there if they need them. Wow. That, that is just like, wow. I just can't wait to work with this day, to be honest. I didn't think that the Cosma visions could be topped, but I'm really glad that I got the Prisma now because this is quite unique, quite a treat. So the wands, and I mean, feast on that. Again, they have their own color scheme and their flowering wands and they're oozing the color. Um, really, really loving that. I love this one. <laughs> This guy is like, yeah, I'm still going. <laughs> you can't stop me. Love those flowering ones. This kind of a hope which can be lacking at, towards the end of the suit of wands, which is definitely restored here. All right, so again, a little panoramic. Let's see. Wow, what a panorama. Again, I'm gonna have to turn my light down so that you can just see the natural colors of these. Um, let me pull the, see if I can bring this down a little bit. Right. So you can really, without the, the, the light shining on them, you can really get an appreciation of what's going on in the color scheme there and how James has used everything at his disposal to make this all oh, so highly readable. I hadn't realized that the suit of wands is probably my favorite. Um, I'm really digging that he's got the flowering and then this oozing out of the wands and then them turning almost into like energetic ones towards the end fabulous so in terms of design these are very very similar to the to the mini one um, there are some differences so I think I might bother doing like a double flip through of them at some point and I'll definitely do a flip through with the Cosma because they are the same but different um, and it's, I think it's going to be worth having digging a little bit deeper into the differences between the Cosma and the Prisma. All right, so I'll see you with that later. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and this first uh, look for me anyway in person, in the flesh. Um, I mean, cardstock is absolutely amazing. It's, it's just really good. It does refill shuffle. Not that I do refill shuffle because I think it kills your cards. Um, this one has silver. Yeah, we, I think we went through that already. The books, I mean, going on the Cosma, the books are okay, but I have ordered his Big Visions book. 
So when I get the big visions book, I will do a little video on that as well so that we can compare and contrast. For now, I hope you enjoyed this little overview. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this and thank you very much. Please like and share. I'll see you soon.